Hey guys, welcome to the Tech Doctor. Today we are discussing tips and tricks for Good Notes 5. Now suppose if I want to read a book along with my notes together, I'll simply open my book on one side. Let's say uh, I want to read Peripheral Arterial Disease today. So I'll open Peripheral Arterial Disease. On the left side I have my notes. I'll simply slide them to the left side and open a multi window. So now I have my notes and textbook appearing together. So while I'm reading my notes, I can simultaneously read my reference book as well. So if I have any doubt, I can quickly go to the book, make the window larger and I can come back to the notes. So this makes moving around your notes and books very easy. All right. Now suppose I want to read a book and solve MCQ simultaneously. So I'll open my textbook on one side on the left side and I'll open my MCQ book or the multiple choice question book on the right side. So I have the question on the right side now and my textbook on the left side for quick reference. To make it even better, I can open a slide over app of good notes itself. This will act like a third multi window. So in this I will keep the answers so that I can hide them. So I'll open the answer page. So most of the times the answers are given on the back of the book and you don't want to go to the page and then come back again and again. So this is a good, good way to do that. So while you're solving your question, you can simply mark your answers on the iPad itself. Let's say for example, just for hypothetically, I'll mark B, C and D. And to check my answer, I'll slide over from the right side and see my answer and explanations. When I'm done with my answers and explanation, I can simply slide it over and make it hidden again and get back to solving more questions. If I have a doubt, I can read the theory part from the book on the left side or I can continue solving uh, my other MCQs on the right side. Another great functionality is the search option. While solving your questions, if you have any doubt, simply type the word in the search box and you'll get to the text, whatever you want to read. See, here I search for scaphoid. I can go and search for lunate and see the theory for lunate. And then I can go and search for trapezium. I can find this uh, theory for trapezium. So in one go, if I have any doubt, I can quickly solve all the doubts related to that question at that moment itself. And this way your efficiency increases a lot and you will memorize it better. Another small tip is the undo feature. See, you don't have to every time while you make a mistake, go to the right top and click the undo button. What you can simply do is double tap on the screen. This way your writing rhythm will not break. You can write if you make a mistake, simply double tap and continue writing. Last tip is about saving your files on cloud storage. I would advise you switch off your iCloud storage and save your files on Google Drive because you get 15 GB space on Google Drive and only 5 GB on iCloud. You don't want multiple messages popping up every time that your storage is full. So simply back up your data on Google Drive and not on iCloud. If the video was helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.